Well, there are new calls today for the U.S. Justice Department to investigate a massive $535 million government loan to a company that went, then went belly up called Solyndra. Uh, it was a solar panel company. Now, the Obama administration denies that there was any political motivation in giving this loan. Florida Republican Cliff Stearns is on the House Energy and Commerce Committee. Uh, he's been very outspoken on this controversy, and he joins me now. Congressman, welcome. Good to have you here today. Thank you, Martha. Uh, I mean, one thing that you would need to establish to open an investigation is that there is reason to believe that there was a political connection and that Solyndra got favorable uh, standing because of it. Can, can you prove that? Do you think there's a case for it? Well, Martha, I think there's a case for something else here, that the uh, Energy Policy Act of 2005 said you cannot subordinate taxpayers' loan guarantees to private investment. And that's exactly what the Department of Energy did under Secretary Chu uh, this year when they subordinated uh, taxpayers to $75 million for two hedge funds. And that's wrong. And one of the hedge funds, Argonaut, of course, to the biggest investor is uh, George Kaiser, who was one of the original investors into uh, Solyndra. So I think uh, the chairman of the Judiciary Committee, Lamar Smith, is inquiring, did they break the law? And I guess he's asking also about the political uh, consequences from rushing the Solyndra deal when 2009, uh, August 20th, uh, we have an email that shows the Department of Energy said uh, Solyndra is going to go belly up on September 2011, prophetically. So I think there's enough information to question whether the law has been broken and whether this was a political rudge to judgment. Yeah. Uh, where, how is it going? You know, what's the response been from the uh, Justice Department? Do you think you're going to get anywhere with pursuing it? Well, in this case, uh, the chairman of the Judiciary Committee is leading the charge. I am not. As you know, next, uh, this Friday, we'll be having under oath the uh, CEO of Solyndra as well as the CFO. So we're hoping to get some more information, and we're hoping they won't take the fifth, but they'll be transparent. Because in the end, I think both the administration and the uh, uh, Congress would like to know what happened and where all the money went. Yeah, I mean, obviously, this is these, it's taxpayer money, $535 million. Uh, that was supposed to be going to companies that you know were in very good shape so that they could prosper and then hire more people uh, and this is a program that president bush's administration looked at but a couple weeks before he left office they they decided not to go forward with it and, and that's one of the questions that i have you know sort of why would you so quickly into a new administration take something that was shelved and put it on the front burner well, I think the administration, including the president, feels strongly that we can turn this economy around with uh, solar power and, and windmills. And I think his fervent belief, almost to a religion, that we can green America quickly is probably incorrect because we cannot do it. And solar cells has not proven to be economically viable, although all of us support uh, alternative energy. We understand. Yeah, but you know what? It's uh, not even, in my mind, excuse me for interrupting, it's not even an issue of green energy. It's an issue of betting on a company that you've been advised is not a good investment, regardless of what it is. And if you're going to do that with taxpayer money, you better have a darn good case as to why you felt it was a substantial, a good investment, right? Right, and also with the FBI raid, two days after they went bankrupt, it brings up a lot of question about were the books cooked, was their money taken, uh, what happened to all this money. They had a burn rate of $1.5 billion in less than two years. This is phenomenal that they went through that kind of money so quickly, and obviously I think taxpayers deserve an answer. Yeah, and so do the employees, because we've heard from a number of them uh, and for them to be so shocked, you know, usually you have some kind of signal that a company's going under, uh, but it, it looks like there may have been things that were hid from them as well. Uh, thank you very much, Representative Stearns. Good to talk to you. We'll, we're going to stay on top of it, and we uh, understand that you are as well.